Hey everyone, welcome back to another My Stuff For You episode. Let me get on, because I've got piles of stuff. Plus I got a box behind me of mint on card stuff. So I don't want this video to be ages long, so let me get started. If you see something I don't know the name of, just do a timestamp and kind of a short description of it and I will pretty much figure it out but let me get started here all right first off I got this Popples lunchbox from 1986 it's nice condition does have a couple little like fading spots and scuffs the major problem is it does come with a thermos but it is missing the cap and it has this crack on the bottom otherwise the artworks pretty good a few little scuffs here and there but not bad if you want that we can do a trade or I can sell it I got these two animated gorillas. I know this one works. I tested him and he did work. This one did not. He had like a battery leak. But if you take some like apple cider vinegar and clean it out really good, he probably will work again. But I got those two Hawaiian versions in different colors. Got this troll here from some treasure troll. Let's see, is there a date on them? 1991 Ace Novelty. So if you want that, and I got this awesome witch here. Didn't really want to get rid of her, but I just need to make room. So this is a really cool Halloween item. Let me see, it's uh, 1989 Fiesta Concession Corporation. It's just a really odd, cool Halloween witch. Really nice shape too. All right, got a couple of these KO Motu style not really Motu style but they're considered usually listed under KO Motu styles got this naked one clean up nicely it's just got a couple scuffs this one does have what looks to be like sharpie written on them I don't know if you can clean it up with a magic eraser or not but those are available. Got this scary sounds of Halloween cassette tape. Some cool Frankenstein, Dracula, and Wolfman artwork. Tape is in there. I was told this is from like a men in black figure. Pretty neat looking. I just don't have a place for it. So if you have that figure, you can complete it. Got this figure here. It is um, from Schleich. Or Sch yeah, Schleich. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pretty cool warrior princess type figure. Got this cool Tweety Bird PVC from 1998. Got this vintage Barnyard Commandos. I believe this is a fast food premium from 1990. Yep, Burger King. It is missing the other half of the piece, the wrist piece though. But still, pretty awesome piece. 
I'm not sure what this guy is. But he is, I know he's vintage. In like the 90s maybe. Where's his markings? Um, I don't see any markings on him actually. But if you need him, you know who he is. <laughs> Let me know. I got this Lord of the Rings chess piece, I believe it is. Pretty neat. If you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, this could be yours. It's pretty cool. It's got a little translucent body parts. Painted cloak and hair face. Got this vintage guy from um, Bucky O'Hare. Pretty cool. Thundercats Hatchiman. Pretty good shape. Does have some paint wear on the hands. Here and there in the hair. Missing his weapons, of course. His action still works when you press the button. Got this, believe it to be Power Rangers dinosaur here. Pretty cool. I was going to keep that, but. Got this bag full of. Playmobil figures. There's a couple of vintage ones like this. There's a nurse. The horse. And this, I believe, was a premium, but it's from 1973, I think it is. There's some other newer ones. Just get a bag full of them. I think there's like, I know there's over 10 of them. So if you're into Playmobil, let me know. Got this figure here, he's really cool. I was gonna keep him, but if somebody wants him, let me know. Here's a silver surfer figure, minus his surfboard. Here is a Guardians of the Galaxy figure. Like the three and three quarter inch size. The green goblin. I know I have his little flying thing somewhere. I have to look for it though. But for the purpose of this video, he doesn't have it until I can find it. We got this uh, snake dude. I think, what is his name? Whiplash. Or constrictor, something like that. Marvel Legends figure. Here's this little like Fisher Price, I think it is. It says Mattel, but I believe it's Fisher Price, like Adventure People. Pretty cool. A little three and three quarter inch. Thor, minus hammer, there's a Yusaki Yojimbo, or actually Yu Yu Hakushu figure here, Yusaki, looks like it's a uh, Sonic, 2004, not sure what he's supposed to Probably supposed to spin. Oh, yeah, you probably gotta lock them in and then you hit the button. Yep, there you go. You hit the button and he does his karate move. Pretty cool, love that animation. It's a vintage Dungeons and Dragons figure. Very cool. It's one of the non articulated PVC ones. Here is a vintage, what is this, Panache? 
Voltron Lion. The stickers are nice, but he is missing his little canopy thing and this back leg is broken. So if you have one that has another piece that's broken, you just replace that leg. The only sticker that's bad is this one. Otherwise he's in really nice shape. Still has nice chrome, a few scuffs here and there. But not bad. Um, just got this not too long ago. It's a little robotic panda with base. I had this mint in package, but I took them out of the package. I really like it, but I need room. Here is a couple pieces to the Scooby-Doo castle. I was trying to complete it, but these are the only two pieces I found so far, so I can pass them along if somebody needs them. I believe this is also Scooby-Doo. Not sure, but I believe it's the... It looks like the crazy lizard thing from Scooby-Doo. A little dinosaur. Here is a volcano that goes with like a dinosaur set. I know somebody asked me about this on eBay, but I got so busy, forgot to get back with them until later. And then when I did, they never got back with me. So here's this vintage Arco Otherworld. Everything's nice except this arm at the shoulder. It looks like the wire is broken. But the one at the elbow works. And all the other ones work great. I don't see some paint wear. There's nothing. None of the wires busting through or anything. No tears. Great for display. couple KO. I really like these things but I just don't have room for them. I'm trying to make room for my favorite collections so passing on stuff that don't really fit. So here you go there's one. These two came in a set. The blue and the green and the red and the black. Like I said they're very cool. I was going to use these masks and stuff for some of my customs but if somebody wants them you can have them I forgot what these things are called they're like uh, my family or something there's a couple of the dudes and then there's a couple other figures I think from another toy line and then there's this little little girl here Throw those all in the same dealy do. Here's this Iron Man figure, and he is complete with his gun and missile. Here's this Marvel three and three quarter inch figure, or four inch. The name Huck or something like that. Husk. I'm not sure. This uh, Hobgoblin vintage fast food premium car. I like these things, but I just don't have room for them. It's a lizard, recent, more recent lizard figure. Very cool. This little teeny solid green Hulk. There's a little toxic symbol there. I'm not sure what this is from. Could be like a, a screw cap or something that goes onto something and you pop them out. He's like, oh, it's the Hulk. I have no idea. I just thought it was cool. Here's this awesome little Doc Ock figure with posable arms. I really like this one, but I got to pick and choose when it comes to stuff. So he is available. 
All the stuff is in good shape. Here is an Eclipso Marvel Legends type figure, even though this is DC Universe. <laughs> Here is a Joker. I think this is a fast food premium. Looks like he squirts water if you fill it up. Practically brand new. I remember getting that from the fast food place. Here is a um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm having a brain fart. Time Lord or something. Guardians of the Galaxy. These things are really cool. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't get taken because I really like him. Here is an Marvel Legends Ultron. I know I have his ship too, and there's a couple little Voltron figures in there. There's that one, and this little one up here. Ultron bag. I know I have his vehicle somewhere, but I just don't know where at the moment. This cool saber tooth. Like, boxing type figure here. It's really cool. I'm just making room for stuff though. Here's a mini red hulk and a mini cute little hulk on a pedestal bust thing. I'm not sure what it is. Plastic man figure with bendy arms. Got a little bit of paint wear on the head. And chest looks like There's another Joker with noise maker, pretty awesome. I just have so many Jokers. I believe this is a Pokemon type figure. Really cool. I love this thing in my display, but I just I don't collect Pokemon, so. Might as well pass it on. There's a Punisher figure. Minus all his gear and everything. I like it, but I just, like I said, I gotta make room. Here's this cool Godzilla figure. I like it. Kinda hope it doesn't get taken, but if it does, I can pass it on. It's got this ball thing in his chest that operates his tail. It's really cool. It's different. But if you need it, you can have it. Here is this uh, Mad Hatter Batman figure. Here's this little um, die cast Joker figure. Really cool. Is this Legends of the West, I believe it is. It's a really cool figure. I just don't have room for them in my collection. There's a mini Joker. Really cool. There's a Wolverine without the removable mask. Pretty cool. There's a Captain America figure gonna keep him and put him in my GI Joes but I can pass him on he's another little fast food premium Marvel figure Venom this is some kind of angel minus his wings still pretty neat he's a Ghost Rider mashup figure here pretty cool there's a little lizard Imaginex style figure very cool I hate getting rid of a lot of these but like I said I just need to make some room here is a man bat from Imaginex or actually um, yeah it is Imaginex 
he's pretty recent within the past couple years had to have him but now I can pass him on I guess here's a Hulk PVC staction figure it's a little where's Waldo dog pretty awesome All right here is a rocket raccoon Guardians of the Galaxy looks like he is complete with his gun and the mini Groot these aren't cheap so you gotta have something good to trade or sell or for sale here's a Toy Story bug figure he is thought he was articulated but I guess not still pretty awesome little PVC figure here's another Hulk this one is pretty awesome I dig them but I got so many Hulk figures here is a giant Joker figure who is awesome very very cool a little bit of paint wear here and there but awesome nonetheless and this is a big one he's probably like uh, 10 inches maybe 9 10 inches all right here is a venom figure sorry if the glare is too bad on these bags but want to keep them nice and clean here is a set of mini figures here it's like um, police warriors like space police or something and then there's this guy who looks like Flash Gordon kind of he's a vintage set I'm not sure if they all go together I know the these guys do. I'm not sure if he goes in there, but I just thought he looked cool with them. Here's a bag of little mini figures. Now this guy doesn't obviously doesn't go with them, but he's one of these Bigfoot police dudes. And these guys kind of look like they all go together here. There's a couple of uh, construction workers and then this doctor same kind of body style pretty cool though now here's this thing I'm not sure what it is it looks kind of like Mongolian but it's like one of those croquet things that has the hammer you take it out and it, all these pieces are separate like these different colors are different like blocks and I don't know if it was supposed to come with a ball or something. You're going to hit him and play the game. But that's pretty cool, though. I thought it was a neat. So if you're into neat things, that could be cool for you. Here's a bag full of Paw Patrol toys, little figures. Like a vehicle. A couple little vehicles. Looks like a like a bath toy or something. So all the rest are like the actual figures. So if you have a kid or something that's into Paw Patrol, it'll be a cool bag for you. Here's a bag full of like military figures. Here's a scuba diver. Another scuba diver. I believe this is an Indiana Jones from the newest movie. Leonard figure. Iron Man figure. Looks like one of the ones that sat on a motorcycle or something. Some little mini coal miner or whatever. Lumberjack. Here's a Leonard figure. This was the one that came with the giant Kong figure but I just wanted the Kong so here's the figure brand new his weapon is still rubber banded to his hand I 
believe this is a I don't know it could be a G.I. Joe figure or Lennard it's like some I don't know what kind of figure set that came from so Lennard figure some kind of knockoff dollar store type figure I guess this is a Bass Pro Shops boat figure I guess it's another one of those type figures uh, I'm not sure what this figure is I can't remember the name of it it comes with some kind of cool robot but I think I kept the robot dollar store military figure another military figure I believe this is a Lennard or something maybe G.I. Joe another Lennard type figure another Lennard figure a little mini military figure it's a space figure another dollar store type figure and then a dollar store giant army man type figure some kind of Paul Revere hat put it with those guys right. bag of Star Wars stuff here I got the zombie Chewbacca bobblehead. I got the zombie stormtrooper bobblehead. Here's Ray. I do have the BB-8 and her staff. And there's this guy here. The stormtrooper which I have I don't know if he's complete but it comes with those two guns and there's Finn I believe this is his gun if not it's Ray's gun one of those here's a little mini Finn a little complete little like egg toy and this Yoda bobblehead couple of Flintstone vintage there's a PVC Barney or Dino and this uh, Bendy Barney the guitar Just a bunch more little Bendy figures here got this army ant this little mini pumpkin this big pumpkin it's like praying mantis all their limbs are really nice a couple little koosh ball lion and tiger There's another little mini pumpkin there's a wizard kind of looks like a, a sheep human I don't know this little fairy princess not a fairy princess, but a fairy. This dude with a crazy mustache. This is a little mini rabbit. And here's a little one of those push push things of a rabbit. Alright. Let's move on. We got another bag of Star Wars goodies here. We got this Stormtrooper at at Dealy Do. It's an ATST. This goes to a Play Doh set. As you can see, there's a little Ewok there. There's a little gun and something else that you can make Play Doh with. Maybe put the guns on here or something. I don't know. Pretty cool little piece. We got this little fast food premium toy. 
Got this Darth Vader one minus the the wings looks like. Giant Darth Vader head eraser. Jar Jar Binks water squirt toy. A little wind up Sebulba. Put him up. Put him in the ATST. Here's a die cast mini Boba Fett ship. Here's the. I thought I had the other half of this. It's Darth Vader dealy do here. Here's a Kylo Ren and a Yoda Pez and a Grievous skateboard. Here's a uh, awesome little vehicle here. Looks like it's missing like the cap. This thing on this side, as you can see. Otherwise, it has a little gun back here. So the gun's up there. I don't know if it came with figures or not, but it's really cool. It's got the little landing gear. It's one of the bigger like die cast chips and then there's this princess Amidala or Padme all right and then I don't know what this thing is I think it's part of a vehicle it looks Star Wars I'm not sure here's this Yoda clock it does work but I removed the batteries so that they wouldn't leak. Really nice. It lights up green as well. Alright, here. Looks like some Pokemon toys. Pikachu. Whatever this one is. crazy evil squirrel I think this is Bakugan this is Bakugan and this guy is Bakugan a couple of little Bakugan balls here and then whatever this thing is looks like it's missing its legs or something Still pretty neat though for display. And here's some Skylander stuff. Here's this awesome wolf guitar thing. This Dealy Do. I'm not sure what he is. This guy here. Oh, it's a noisemaker, obviously. Pretty cool. This guy looks like he's missing his missile. It's coconut. Here's an actual like Skylander game piece. Two gold guns. Here's this one. Um, does he light up still? No, he does not. Oh, wait. There you go. He does somewhat light up. If you can see that there. Pretty cool. A little Skylanders coin. I don't know what that is. This rainbow colored lollipop dude. There's another real Skylanders piece. Very cool. I really like that one. This guy with a hammer. This little mini dude. I'm not sure if he's Skylanders or not. He's still pretty cool though. Blowing fire. This little skeleton knight. This like fish dude. Minus his missile. Got this guy with his missile thing. Right, 
that's it for the bin of toys now on to the mint in box toys all right I got a couple puzzles I got this Disney babies puzzle it is mostly complete it is missing one piece right there otherwise it is complete and really nice also have this Tom and Jerry puzzle this one is complete as you can see that one's from 1983 and the Disney babies one is from 1984 very cool stuff I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turtle maker activity set it says it makes 12 turtles um, I'm not sure if it is complete or not it says four cans of softy dough four turtle character molds four plastic weapons one plastic sculpting knife so I'm thinking maybe the weapons in the sculpting knife are missing because I know there was two extra little teeny figures in there let me just open it and show you guys okay. it's got the four containers, the four purple ones two extra little things here looks like a little space dude maybe and an alien dude is there anything under yeah so it looks like the sculpting knife and the Weapons are missing. Now into the box of mint on card stuff. All right. There's this Walking Dead O oh Brother card, still sealed in plastic. I have this. Piccoli Mondi Super Farm Magnetic Toy of Daisy. The box has been opened, but as you can see, the figure is still mint in unopened plastic baggie. I've got some of these Mega Constructs single packs. The only reason I'm getting rid of these is because I got the multi pack. That had all these figures on it and I needed to make some room so I will let these go so I got He-Man Faker Tila and Beast Man got two of these Iron Man 3 wrist launcher things this one's still sealed here's another one that is still unused but the bubble came off the card the cards in here somewhere I think it just fell down but yeah you get Two of those, one for each wrist. Here's this stretch bug B. Um, it looks like it's starting a little tear right here by the wing. Otherwise, it looks looks good. Still mint on card. Pretty cool. Here is a Governor Tarkin figure, mint on card. 
Looks like it has a little stress mark up by the hanger. Otherwise, looks really nice. Got the Star Wars Rogue One Imperial Death Trooper Wobbler bobblehead figure. Still mint in package, like everything in this box. Here is a Micro Machines Stormtrooper head. Looks like it's got, let me see, what does it have? It is back here. Alright. So it looks like you get a little, is that a Death Trooper? Stormtrooper, a couple of good guys, Poe Dameron, pretty neat. Get this fun pack, Dimensions Krusty the Clown. Now this has been opened. had it on display for a little bit. Let me pull it out so you can see. You do have the figure and a little construction vehicle I made. So you can take it apart. It still has the instructions and everything in it. that with the box. I love that figure but I should just give it to my daughter which I actually might. She likes the Legos. Here is a Star Wars Finn figure in Stormtrooper outfit. Here is a Star Wars Episode 1 Rick Oli with helmet and Nabu blaster. And it's got one of those voice chip things. Pretty cool. Looks like it has a little card bending there. A little stress mark up there and maybe some sticker residue. Otherwise some edge wear but not bad. Not bad. You get this underwater accessory kit or set and the card is pretty warped but all the stuff is still mint in package get this cool fish so this would be a good set to open you get this Star Wars Force Awakens General Hux figure very cool I believe I bought this one on the actual Star Wars day that they had special at Walmart. I've got this Star Wars Django Fett from Attack of the Clones. And this is the rare one with the background scene in there. These were harder to come by. couple little Halloween figures here. It's a ghost with some pumpkins doing a peace sign. I know I got another one of the Halloween figures in here. Here's another set of ghosts with a bat. Pretty cool. Here is a old robot keychain, still in the plastic. Oh, here's the card for the other Iron Man set. Here is a Grow Metallics 
robot grows 600 percent I might just give this to one of my friends because I know he commented on my daughter's video saying he wanted one these things are pretty cool so I'm working on a trade with him so I might just give that to him here is a turtles blind bag figure but it has been opened and it is the red translucent raft is complete I already have it so that one I opened up to see who it was and I already had him so he is available There's a couple Garfield cards I hate empty mailboxes and do I need to mail you stationary or what right soon and these are both from 1978 unwritten on postcards alright you get this magic wiggly these things are cool used to love these things as a kid this one's still on card I think this is a re-release from 2008 four bucks back then all right I have the Star Wars Tuscan Raider Hot Wheels car this thing is really cool tempted just to take it out of the package but if somebody wants it it is here have the Star Wars number 67 First Order Stormtrooper Pop Vinyl. Still mint in box. Very nice. I have the Star Wars Return of the Jedi Han Solo and Trench Coat from the Saga Collection. This is a really cool figure. But if somebody wants it, it is available. I have this Star Wars clone trooper from Revenge of the Sith. And this one's in one of those protective cases. And it is a Target exclusive. This Star Wars Darth Vader Transformer figure here. It's got the spin disc. These things are cool. These things are really cool. Comes with a little mini figure and then transforms into Darth Vader. Love these things when they came out. Still love them, but I just don't have room for them. Here's a mint and baggy dark horse. What are these called? Bandoliers. Hold your go around your neck. Hold your little cards or whatever. There's another Star Wars Transformer of General Grievous Starfighter here very cool and that's what he looks like transformed very cool I have a street fighter figure here I believe this is Vega or actually wait a second no I'm Vega, this is um, Chun Li, I believe. It has been opened. And I opened it just to see who it was. And as you can see, it is 
Chun Li. So she still has her card in there. Like I said, it was just open to see who it was. I was looking for Vega and Blanca. So if anybody needs Chun Li, there she is. Here's a few little tech deck dudes. They've been opened just to see who they were. You got this lumberjack dude. painter street art dude this guy and this cool guy kind of looks like the singer from NWA <laughs> Okay, I think that is it, my friends, for this video. Stay tuned for next week for another toy-filled video. I've still got lots of stuff to go through, so stay tuned. Pick what you want. We can work out a deal. If you have stuff to trade, let me know what you have to trade, and maybe we can work out a deal that way. Until then, my friends, peace.